15 U.S. Code 1602 Definitions and Rules of Construction AA The disclosure of an amount or percentage which is greater than the amount or percentage required to be disclosed under this subchapter does not in itself constitute a violation of this subchapter. BB, high cost mortgage, one, definition. In general, the term high cost mortgage and a mortgage referred to in this subsection means a consumer credit transaction that is secured by the consumer's principal dwelling other than a reverse mortgage transaction if in the case of a credit transaction secured one by a first mortgage on the consumer's principal dwelling the annual percentage rate at conservation of the transaction will exceed by more than 6.5 percentage point or 8.5 Five percentage points if the dwelling is personal property and the transaction is for less than 50,000 the average prime offer rate as defined in section 1639 CB to be of this title for a comparable transaction or two by a subordinate or junior mortgage on the consumers principal dwelling the annual percentage rate at consummation of the transaction will exceed by more than 8.5 percentage points the average prime offer rate as defined in section 1639 CB2B of this title for a comparable transaction. The total points and fees payable in connection with the transaction, let me see what this is first. points and fees. The total points and fees payable in connection with the transaction other than bona fide third-party part, third party charges not retained by the mortgage originator creditor or an affiliate of the creditor or mortgage originator exceed one, in the case of a transaction of 20000 or more, 5% of the total transaction amount. Or, in the case of a transaction for less than 20000 the lesser of 8% of the total transaction amount or $1,000 or such other dollar amount as the board shall prescribe by regulation. Or, the credit transaction documents permit the creditor to change or collect prepayment fees or penalties more than 36 months after the transaction closing or such fees or penalties exceeded in the aggregate more than 2% of the amount prepaid. B. Introductory rates taken into account. For purposes of subparagraph A, 1, little 1, the annual percentage rate of interest shall be determined based on the following interest rate. In the case of a fixed rate transaction in which the annual percentage rate will not vary during the term of the loan, the interest rate in effect on the date of consummation of the transaction. In the case of a transaction in which the rate of interest varies solely in accordance with an index, the interest rate is determined by adding the interest rate in effect on the date of consummation of the transaction to the maximum margin permitted at any time during the loan agreement.
In the case of any other transaction in which the rate may vary at any time during the term of the loan for any reason, the interest charged on the transaction at the maximum rate that may be charged during the term of the loan. Mortgage insurance. For the purpose, the purpose is of computing the total points and fees under paragraph four, the total points and fees shall exclude any premium provided by an agency of the federal government or an agency of a state. The total points and fees shall exclude any amount that is not in excess of the amount payable under policies in effect at the time of origination under Section 203C, 2A of the National Housing Act, 12 U.S.C., 1709 C2A provided that the premium charge or fee is required to be refundable on a prorated basis and the refund is automatically issued upon notification of the satisfaction of the underlying mortgage loan and any premium paid by the consumer after closing. A. After the two-year period beginning on the effective date of the regulations promulgated under Section 155 of the Regal Community Development and Regulatory Improvement Act of 1994, and no more frequently than... Let's look that up. I've never seen that word in my entire life. entire life occurring every two years so we're just gonna say biannually all right let's start over 2a after the two-year period beginning on the effective date of the regulations promulgated under section 155 of the Regal Community Development and Regulatory Improvement Act of 1994 and no more frequently than biannually after the first increase or decrease under this subparagraph, the Bureau may by regulation increase or decrease the number of percentage points specified in paragraph 1A. If the Bureau determines that the increase or decrease is consistent with the consumer protections against abuse of lending provided by the amendments made by subtitle B of Title I of the Regal Community Development and Regulatory Improvement Act of 1994 and warranted by the need for credit. B, an increase or decrease under subparagraph A may not result in the number of percentage points referred to in paragraph that being less than six percentage points or greater than 10 percentage points and may not result in the number of percentage points referred to in paragraph that being less than eight percentage points or greater than 12 percentage points. C. In determining whether to increase or decrease the number of percentage points referred to in subparagraph A, the Bureau shall not consult with representatives of consumers, including low-income consumers and lenders. Three, the amount specified in paragraph 1B2 shall be Adjusted annually, adjusted annually on January 1st by the annual percentage change in the Consumer Price Index as reported on June 1st of the year preceding such adjustments. Four, for the purposes of 1B, points and fees shall include all items included in the finance charge except interest or the time price differential. Points and fees shall include 
All compensation paid directly or indirectly by a consumer or creditor to the mortgage originator from any source, including a mortgage originator that is also the creditor in a table funded transaction. Points and fees shall include each of the charges listed in section 1605E of this title, except an escrow for future repayment of taxes unless the charge is reasonable. Okay, there's our fees and premiums, all other fees. Okay. Each of those charges listed. Each of the charges listed in section 1605E of this title, title except in, okay, I'm sorry. Points and fees shall include C. Each of the charges listed in section 1605E of this title, unless the charge is reasonable, the creditor gives no direct or indirect compensation and the charge is paid to a third party unaffiliated with the creditor and premiums or other charges payable at or before closing for any credit life, credit disability, credit unemployment, or credit property insurance, or any other accident loss of income, life or health insurance, or any payments directly or indirectly for any debt cancellation, suspension agreement, or contract, except that the insurance premiums or debt cancellation or suspension fees calculated and paid, for, paid in full on a monthly basis shall not be considered financed by the creditor. B, E, E, we're at E. The maximum prepayment fees and penalties which may be charged or collected under the terms of the credit transaction. All prepayment fees or penalties that are incurred by the consumer if the loan refinances a previous loan made or currently held by the same creditor or an affiliate of the creditor and such other charges as the Bureau determines to be appropriate. Calculation of points and fees for open end credit plans. In the case of an open end credit plan, points and fees shall be calculated for the purposes of this section and section 1639 of this title, requirements for certain mortgages, by adding the total points and fees known at or before closing, including the maximum prepayment penalties, which may be charged or collected under the terms of the credit transaction, plus the minimum additional fees the consumer would be required to pay to draw down an equal, an amount equal to the total credit line. I'm going to pause this because I really have to yell at my dog. Excuse me. You better sit down. Where were we? Six. This subsection shall not be construed to limit the rate of interest or the finance charge that a person may charge a consumer for any extension of credit. CC, the term reverse mortgage transaction, means a non-recourse transaction in which a mortgage, deed of trust, or equivalent consensual security interest is created in the against the consumer's principal dwelling. One, securing one or more advances, and two, with respect to the payment of any principal, interest, and share appreciation or equity is due and payable, other than in the case of default, only after A, the transfer of the dwelling, B, the consumer ceases to occupy the dwelling as a principal dwelling, or C, death of the consumer. Hmm. 
definitions relating to we are on DD definitions relating to mortgage origination and residential mortgage loans one commission unless otherwise specified the commission means the Federal Trade Commission mortgage originator the term mortgage originator means any person for direct or indirect any person who for direct or indirect compensation or gain or and in the expectation of direct or indirect compensation of gain compensation or gain takes residential mortgage application assists a consumer in obtaining or applying to obtain a residential mortgage loan or offers or negotiates terms of a residential mortgage loan includes any person who represents to the public through advertising or other means of communicating or providing information including the use of business cards, stationaries, brochures, signs, rate interest or other promotional items that such person can or will provide any of the services or perform any of the activities described in subparagraph A does not include any person who is not otherwise described in subparagraph A or B and who performs purely administrative or clerical tasks on behalf of a person who is described in any such paragraph or two a retailer of manufactured or modular homes or an employee of the retailer if the retailer or employee as applicable does not receive compensation or gain for engaging in activities described in subparagraph A that is in excess of any compensation or gain received in a comparable cash transaction to discloses to the customer in writing any corporate affiliation with any creditor and if the retailer has a corporate affiliation with any creditor at least one unaffiliated creditor and does not directly negotiate with the consumer or lender on loan terms including rates fees and other costs does not include okay mortgage originator does not include a person or entity that only performs real estate brokerage activities and is licensed or registered in accordance with applicable state law unless such person or entity is compensated by a lender a mortgage broker or other mortgage originator or by any agent of such lender mortgage broker or mortgage originator mortgage originator does not include with respect to a residential mortgage loan a person estate or trust that provides mortgage financing for the sale of three properties in the 12-month period to purchases of such properties each of which is owned by such person or estate or trust <laughs> It serves as a security for the loan, provided that such loan is not made by a person, estate, or trust that has constructed or acted as a contractor for the construction of a residence on the property in the ordinary course of business of such a person, estate, or trust is fr fully amortizing. Let me look that up. amortize gradually write off the initial cost of an asset over time to reduce or pay off a debt with regular payments okay fully payable and in installments is with respect to a sale for which the seller determines in good faith and documents that the buyer has a reason reasonable ability to repay the loan 
mm -hmm. has a fixed rate or an adjustable rate that is adjustable after five or more years, subject to reasonable annual and lifetime limitations on interest rate increases and meets any other criteria the board may prescribe. Mortgage originator does not include the creditor, except the creditor in a table funded transaction under paragraph one, two, or four of section 1639 BC of this title. Mortgage originator does not include a servicer or servicer employees, agents and contractors, including but not limited to those who offer or negotiate terms of a residential mortgage loan for purposes of renegotiating, modifying, replacing, subordinating principal of existing mortgages where borrowers are behind in their payments, in default, or have reasonable likelihood of being in default or falling behind. Three. National Mortgage Lending System and Registry has the same meaning as in the Secure and Fair Enforcement for Mortgage Licensing Act of 2008, 12 U.S.C. 5101. Other definitions relating to mortgage originator for the purposes of this subsection. A person assists a consumer in obtaining or applying to obtain a residential mortgage loan by, among other things, advising, advising on residential mortgage loan terms, including rates, fees, and other costs, preparing residential mortgage loan packages, or collecting information on behalf of the consumer with regard to a residential mortgage loan. Residential mortgage loan means any consumer credit transaction that is secured by a mortgage, deed of trust, or other equivalent consensual security interest on a dwelling or on residential real property that includes a dwelling other than a consumer credit transaction under an open-end credit plan or for purposes of section 1639B and C of this title and section 1638A, 1617, 18, and 19 of this title and section 1638F and 1640K of this title and any regulations promulgated thereunder, an extension of credit relating to a plan described in section 101.53D of title 11. Secretary. The term secretary, when used in connection with any transaction or person involved with a residential mortgage loan, means the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. The term servicer has the same meaning as in Section 2605I2 of Title 12. What was that? The term servicer means the person responsible for servicing of a loan, including the person who makes or holds a loan, if such person also services the loan. The term servicing means receiving any scheduled periodic payments from a borrower pursuant to the terms of any loan including amounts for escrow accounts described in section 2609 of this title and making the payments of principal and interest and such other payments with respect to the amounts received from the borrower as may be required pursuant, pursuant to the loan servicing.
BFEE, bona fide discount points and prepayment penalties for the purposes of determining the amount of points and fees for the purposes of subsection AA, either the amounts described in paragraph one or two of the following paragraphs, but not both, shall be excluded. One, up to and including two bona fide discount points payable by the consumer in connection with the mortgage, but only at the interest rate from which the mortgage's interest rate will be discounted does not exceed by more than one percentage point. The average prime offer rate as defined in section 1639C of this title or B if secured by a personal property loan, the average rate on a loan in connection with which insurance is provided under Title I of the National Housing Act, 12 U.S.C. 1702. Unless two bona fide discount points have been excluded under Paragraph 1, up to and including one bona fide discount point payable by the consumer in connection with the mortgage, but only if the interest rate from which the mortgage interest rate will be discounted does not exceed by more than two percentage points. The average prime offer rate as defined in 1639C of this title or if secured by a personal property loan, the average rate on a loan in connection with which insurance provided is provided under Title I of the National Housing Act 1702, 12 U.S.C. For the purposes of paragraph one, the term bona fide discount points means loan discount points, which are knowingly paid by the consumer for the purposes of reducing and which in fact result in a bona fide reduction of the interest rate or time price differential applicable to the mortgage. Paragraphs one or two, one and two, shall not apply to discount points used to purchase an interest rate reduction unless the amount of the interest rate reduction purchased is reasonably consistent with the established industry norms and practices for secondary mortgage market transactions. I'm not reading that. You can read it if you want to. I ain't reading that. Shit. 